Oh, hi, Case. What are you doing? Hi. Just doing a picture. What are you doing a picture of? Gareth Bell. Huh? That's really clever. How are you drawing it? I'm like drawing it. I put it on the window and then you can like see the background. You copy all the stuff that it shows in the background and then it's got the picture. That well, looks really good. Why are you drawing Gareth Bale though? Because I missed um, going to watch the football game. Oh yeah, because we were meant to go with Uncle Andrew, weren't we? Yeah. Um, but then because of coronavirus, sadly, they had to cancel the game. Yeah. And we were really planning to go for ages, and it's really sad sometimes when your plans have to be cancelled, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. But I've got an idea. Ooh. What about if we make our own football game? <gasps> That'll be so fun. Let's have a go, shall we? Yeah. Hi, so to make this craft, you only need a few things, and you should be able to find most of them around your house. A bit of cardboard, it doesn't have to be as big as this, but the bigger it is, the more fun you can have with the game. Some sellotape, some pennies, I find two peas work the best for this game. Then some blue tack, or you could use Play-Doh if you haven't got any blue tack. Some felt tips or permanent markers. Some lollipop sticks, you need at least four, or little sticks if you haven't got lollipop sticks. And a ruler, and that is all we need, and we should be able to make our game. Start off by drawing a circle in the middle of the pitch. You could use your sellotape to make it. That is the centre circle for the football pitch. Next, use your ruler to make a halfway line. Next, draw a box at each end to make a penalty area. Now, this is how our football pitch should look. You could paint it green at this point, me and Casey decided not to because we want to have a go playing on it and we don't have to work, wait for ages for it to dry. But if you want to make it look really good, paint it green. And now it's nearly ready. So to start making your goal, take two lollipop sticks and make a line halfway down each one. Cut the lollipop sticks in half. Make them into a goal shape like this and use sellotape to stick them together. I'm going to show you when it's done. So your goal should be stuck together like that, the two goals. Next four bits of blue tack and stick them on the end of each post. I'll show you when it's finished. Now that you've used the blue tack on the end of the goals, you can stick them into the penalty areas and you're ready to play. I'm going to show you how to make a goalie. Get a lollipop stick and some blue tack, stick it on the end, and then if you have a Lego fi figure, stick it on the blue tack. Put your three pennies like this on your goal line. Then, Flick the penny nearest you in between the other two pennies. Now you have three goes to try and score a goal. So you have to flick the penny nearest you through the other two pennies every time. So one, two, now I've got to try and score three. Oh, good save, Casey. Turn, Casey. Remember, nearest one to you through the other two. Oh, now you messed that one up. So now it would be Daddy's go back from the beginning. Well, that did not go to plan, did it? Yes, it did. I came first. No, it's called winning. It's called you won in football. You won 3-2. That was not my plan. I wanted to beat you. <laughs> well, things don't always go to plan. They do their case, sadly. No. Um, and lots of times our plans go wrong. But um, in the Bible, we've been reading Diary of a Disciple, and there's a guy called Paul in this. What sort of things went wrong for Paul? Um... He got shipwrecked, he got rocks through him, he got sick. All sorts of bad things. But even so, he always said that God had a plan to make good things happen out of those bad things. Ooh. And even though it's not very nice having to stay in at the moment all the time, it's a good plan, isn't it? Because it's to help make people not get ill, isn't it? Yeah. And in the Bible, sometimes bad things happen, but good things happen from it. And there's a verse here. Um, and it's caught from Jeremiah 29, verse 11. It says, I know what I have planned for you, says the Lord. I have good plans for you. I don't plan to hurt you. I plan to give you hope and a good future. So even when things go wrong, we can still trust that God wants us to have hope and a good future, can't we? Yeah. Shall we pray about that now? Yeah. Shall we teach people the prayer drill that we use sometimes? Yeah. Ready? P R A Y. Lord God, thank you that even though things can seem wrong and bad and our plans get cancelled, that you have a good plan um, and that you can bring us hope and a future. Amen. Amen. <laughs>